Uh, thank you for uh, thank you for not gambling and coming here. Uh, my name is Mary Mack, and I'm from Northern Wisconsin. So I want you to know I have a real dry humor, you know, because I come from a cold, dark place. Yes, where there are a lot of bars and sawmills, and uh, death and or accidental dismemberment can be funny. They can. They, they can. You just have to have the right attitude about it. This is going so well already. Uh, so I uh, actually go back to northern Wisconsin to visit you guys, which uh, is not safe because uh, it, it's uh, hunting season year round for something there. You know, like it doesn't matter if it's dead. You can shoot it again, you know. Y you can, you can. So it's not safe. And I go in the door and it's always the same greeting from my mom. Uh, you know, just to give you a little background, like she's positive, like the glass is half full, except uh, it's half full of brandy. Uh, yeah, and, and like there's no ice cubes. And uh, so what? Wh she also has had six kids, right? So like she's a tax deduction machine, you know? Yeah, and she wants me to be too. So uh, when I go in the door, she's always like, where are my grandbabies? But worse than other moms, she, she won't let it go. Like one time I was petting the dog and, and she goes, oh Mary, that dog loves you so much. When are you gonna have kids of your own? I'm like, what? Yeah, those don't go together. <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, and then one time at Christmas, uh, she gave me this package, you guys, and it came in a Victoria's Secret box, and I was like, what? Yeah, my family doesn't go there, you know? Like, we all just look like we're ready to haul wood. <laughs> Th that's our look, right? So here I am, and I'm opening this package, and uh, there is a nighty in there, you got a nighty, yeah, as in negligee, as in grody. Gro yeah, I don't know if you ever got a nighty on Christmas from your mother before. Yeah, but a piece of your innocence sort of dies. <laughs> it, it, it does. It. Yeah, you guys, and my dad was right there to see it all, too. He, what, he looks at it and he was like, oh boy, you could really whoop it up in one of those things. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, that's sick, Dad. That is sick. <laughs> yeah, and I said it. I did. I said, Jesus Christ, Mike. I did. Pop to JC right out there, you guys. <laughs> I can't, I, can't, I can't help it. I was angry. I was, you know, I'm not good at reproducing her. Shoot, yeah. We're going to step back, uh, take a step back. I am not good at meeting people, therefore I am not good at reproducing. Thank you. Uh, so, <laughs> I hate this set now. Uh, so, so, Oh, well. I, uh, so anyway, uh, I think I have better luck uh, reproducing asexually right now, you guys. I do. Like, I think, I think that, you know, maybe one day I'll just be sitting there writing, writing, and uh, like maybe these kids will just have sprouted out of my arm, you know? Yeah, and they're there, and they're looking at me, right? And I'm like, oh, don't look at me like that, you, right? And I'm like, oh, my God, I hope it just doesn't take the whole nine months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my writing arm. It is. Okay, some of you aren't coming with me for the kids on, on the arm, guys. You're going to have to put on your imagination caps. You have to. Sometimes in life, uh, things aren't concrete. There's a lot of abstract things. Uh, credit, you guys believe in credit cards, right? And that money's not real. It, it's not. It's not real. And, and so that's the first problem. And the second problem is, uh, I don't know if you've noticed this, but my comedy, it's a lot like a cheap firework. You know, like you, you're super excited when you buy it, and then you take it home and light it up, and you're like, ah, shit. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so I'm not stopping. So, um, so there's these kids, right? They're, yeah, they're there. And, and, and you, right, it's their heavy, uh, what do you do? Do you cut them off of there? I don't know, you guys. May, I don't know. I've never butted before. What do you, yeah. Maybe they're like scabs, right? They're probably, you just got to let them fall off on their own, is what I, I think, you guys. And you don't want to pick at them. You don't, you don't pick at the kids. You just let them fall off. You do. It's nature's Band-Aid. That's what my mother says about scabs. She does, and that she knows too, because she's retired now, so she's wise. 
she is, and, and she calls me up and she says, you know, all retirement is is either you wake up or you don't. <laughs> I know, I was like, why am I saving up for that? <laughs> and it doesn't make sense, does it? And I don't like uh, Christmas on account of that woman because uh, like you don't know what you're gonna get from her, right? But I do like Valentine's Day, uh, not for the romance, you guys, but uh, for the day after, because you can go to Walgreens and get chocolate at half price. <laughs> yeah, and then you're with me. Oh, man, I love, I love chocolate, you guys, because chocolate has caffeine, and caffeine gives me hope. <laughs> it it do, and you know what's great is how the calendar goes then. It's like, it goes like Valentine's, uh, St. Pat's, Easter, right? So it's like chocolate, beer, chocolate. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Beer is just another form of hope, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and some people say that uh, Hanukkah or Christmas are chocolate holidays, but when nobody's looking, it's beer. <laughs> Yeah, you know, yeah, because we're with our loved ones, right? Yeah, when I was younger, my mom pulled me aside and she says, you know, unconditional love brings out the worst in everyone. <laughs> so we drink. <laughs> Thanks, you guys are fun. Enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs>